Okay folks, today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel pump in your KLR650 uh, fuel pump assembly. Uh, it's a pretty simple um, thing to take off of the bike. Uh, you can uh, you can trace, you look over the from the left side of the bike, you can get to the electrical connector and uh, with a pick, I like to use something like a 90 degree um, a 90 degree pick like that and you can get in there and loosen that connector and then you can use the same 90 degree pick to um, disconnect the fuel line there's a little red clip on the side and you can get under that red clip with the pick and um, pull it out and once you pull that red clip out you can pull the fuel line off and then the tank is free and once you pull the tank off um, this will be just bolted into um, the bottom. Use a 10 millimeter socket or wrench to remove the five bolts. There's a big fat O-ring under there that seals the pump off to the flange. You remove those and just pull it out uh, gently, making sure you don't damage your uh, your float for your sending unit for the fuel gauge. And so now, once you get to this point, we're going to start with a number two um, Phillips or a JIC. All right, so you've got these uh, three screws around the base. Start by removing those three screws and don't lose them. Up here on the top side, this is the the bracket that holds the the float arm, and this whole deal right here actually holds the regulator, the fuel pressure regulator, into this housing. There's some uh, these little clips like this that you can pull up just a little bit with your finger. They're real easy to pull up. I take my thumb and put it under them. There's one there. There's one there. There's four in total. One's kind of on the bottom down there. And once those four are kind of gently pried loose, you can pull the float um, bracket and section that holds the regulator. You can just pull that all the way off and set just kind of set it down. And then on this other side here, you've got your your red and black power wire going to the actual pump. You pull those loose, pull them out from under the little clip. And there's another clip here holding wires. Pull those wires out from under that clip. Now, you can pull this loose like so. And like I said, don't lose your screws. Once you pull that loose, be careful. There's a there's an O-ring on each end of the pump. Sometimes, in this case, it did what I want it to do. It stayed down in that bore of the aluminum housing. Sometimes it's possible it could come off and uh, stay on this part of the plastic housing and then fall off on you we don't want that and all you do is just pull the pump out is just grab it and gently pull on it and slide it out and you'll notice you can see up in the other end you see that black o-ring right down in the center in the down in the housing here's what's gonna come in the kit you're gonna have the pump the filter or strainer And there'll be two O-rings like this. You'll notice they're slightly different sized from each other. Um, you may notice, let's push that to the side. The one that goes in the base is the same as 
that one right there and the one that goes in the other end is the same as that one. so we do include new o-rings you can either use the new o-rings um, just like I say match them up make sure to match them up with how they come out in this example I'm going to put the factory o-ring back in another way uh, instead of trying to get the um, o-ring back into this housing you can just you can also just put the o-ring on the top of the pump and then put it back in place and make sure it didn't fall off and that that works fine too so this is the original pump let's get the new pump ready to install okay this so the strainer and the pump are going to come separate in your stuff there and you've got to that's got to be put in place you're not going to be able to just stick it on there by hand it's kind of a tight fit you could use a small like a dead blow plastic a little mallet you could use a little small wood block I like to use kind of a longer screwdriver like this one it's got a rubber coated handle and it's kind of got a little weight to that end and what I do is just tap that on by hand like that and I like to kind of push on it right across here don't don't hit on the end kind of hit it right there because that's where it's that spot right there right there on that side you'll see that's where it's actually tight so you want to hit directly above where it's trying to go on and when it goes down in place you shouldn't see any kind of gap right along here at the bottom there shouldn't be any gap there it should be nice and flush the last thing we need off of the old pump are these little rubber um, spacers they're in the bottom of the strainer just pull those out of there and put them right back in the new strainer just like that okay you gonna pull the cap off the top and like I said that top o-ring you can just slide it into place on the pump and you make sure those your little rubbers don't come out of the bottom you can kind of hold them in place like that and you want to take note make sure you take note of which one of these is positive and negative they're marked on top that way when you go to put your wires back on so if you hold this up so that o-ring don't fall out you can push that right into place and you'll feel it kind of snap in that o-ring pops into place so when you go to put the bottom side together your pumps in place make sure these rubbers are in place take this o-ring put it right there that way you know it doesn't can't fall out of the bottom that way everything that can fall out is kind of on one side and gravity is working in your favor you give it a little firm pressure there and it'll pop right in place and just so that doesn't move we'll take our three phillips head screws put them back into the housing Tighten those down. Okay. And now we want to slide these power wires back under that clip. Slide them back under this clip. Make sure you take took note of which one went where. Slide your wire terminals back on the pump connector. Make sure they're all the way down and snapped in place. Wrap these wires across the top like that. And You snap that right back in place. 
he makes sure that all four of those are snapped in and you're done it's ready to put back on the bike slide it back in bolt it in make sure you don't forget your your big rubber o-ring tighten the pump back down and then you can put it back on the bike don't forget your red clip on your fuel line or it'll blow off on you and uh that's how you install the new fuel pump in the uh into your fuel pump assembly thanks